His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 102 of 2023 approving the 6th National Telecommunications Plan based on a proposal by the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications following consultation with the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority a TRA and the approval of the Cabinet. The edict stipulates the following. Article 1, the 6th National Telecommunications Plan accompanying this edict shall be appointed and shall be enforced for three years. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the President of the Entrepreneurs Organization Bahrain, Bob Tucker, and the members of the Board of Directors at Iqdaybiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's commitment to fostering an environment of creativity and innovation that supports economic growth and creates promising opportunities in line with the goals of the comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness emphasized that entrepreneurship in the kingdom has developed into an inspiring model with numerous success stories of Bahraini youth, effectively contributing to national efforts with innovative ideas. His Royal Highness highlighted that the Kingdom will continue to invest in the national workforce while uh, providing them with quality opportunities that will develop their skills and capabilities. His Royal Highness commended Bahrain's entrepreneurs for their achievements and creative projects, which are a source of pride for all. His Royal Highness noted that global economic challenges have spurred innovation and efficiency across economic projects and increased competitiveness. His Royal Highness emphasized that the Kingdom's growth in entrepreneurship is based on entrepreneurs' ambitious and passion for leadership, as well as Bahrain's integrated work environment that supports innovation in line with the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. During the meeting, the role of the Entrepreneurs' Organization in supporting global entrepreneurs' growth and development and the role of the Entrepreneurs' Organization Bahrain in developing Bahraini entrepreneurs was discussed. For their part, the organization's president and members expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness for his commitment to supporting the organization's work in the kingdom. The chairman of the board of trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust and chairman of the board of directors of Temkin, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the minister of finance and national economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and the minister of cabinet affairs Ahmed bin Faisal Al Malki also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the outgoing Ambassador of Japan to Bahrain, Masayuki Miyamoto, at Iqdaybiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the long-standing Bahraini-Japan relations, which have grown over the years through close multi-sector collaboration and partnership. His Royal Highness noted the advancement of economic and trade cooperation between the two countries and the importance of enhancing the partnership to meet mutual aspirations. His Royal Highness noted the Ambassador's efforts in furthering relations and collaboration towards shared interests and extended best wishes to the Ambassador in his future endeavors. Regional and global developments and issues of common interest were also discussed. For his part, the Ambassador expressed gratitude for meeting with His Royal Highness, noting His Royal Highness's commitment to furthering bilateral relations. The Ambassador wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkeen, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. Following the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to continue creating quality opportunities for Bahraini citizens and the cabinet's approval chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Timkin's Board of Directors meeting was held, chaired by the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Timkin, His Highness. 
issued directives to launch new programs aimed at supporting 50,000 Bahrainis annually, the largest target since Tamkin's inception. The programs included three main initiatives. Supporting the labor market by creating quality opportunities for new market entrants. Supporting career development opportunities by ensuring Bahrainis remain the employees of choice within the labor market. And expanding enterprise support schemes to enhance the private sector's competitiveness and role as a key economic driver in line with Tim Keen's mandate. His Highness thanked His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness for appointing him as Chairman of the Board of Directors. He also congratulated the new board members on their appointment. He highlighted the pivotal role of the previous Board of Directors chaired by Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa in supporting Tim Keen's success and achievements. His Highness emphasized the current Board of Directors' commitment to fostering this success by continuing to enhance Tim Keen's governance and reaching higher beneficiaries' targets. He emphasized that Bahraini citizens are key to achieving the Kingdom's development goals and enhancing its competitiveness globally. He also expressed the Kingdom's pride in entrepreneurs' successes and providing quality opportunities for local talent to develop their capabilities and skills. The Board of Directors were presented with a comprehensive introduction to Tim Keen's strategy and objectives, previously a key achievements, a current priorities and development plans for programs and initiatives. The chief executive of Tamkeen, Maha Mufiz, showcased Tamkeen's efforts to implement its mandate in 2023 to date, where it created over 10,000 job opportunities in the private sector and provided more than 9,000 training opportunities for Bahrainis. Tamkeen also supported over 4,000 enterprises in the private sector through its programs. The Board of Directors was also presented with the economic contribution of Temkin since its inception, as well as its plans, including the launch of new programs, contribution to raising the wages of Bahrainis and initiatives to provide them with the skills required in the labor market. The Representatives Council held its extraordinary session to discuss developments in the Gaza Strip, confirming the historic Bahraini position in support of the Palestinian cause, especially in light of the Israeli escalation and war against the Palestinian people. More in this report. In an affirmation of the firm and established positions of the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in supporting the Palestinian cause and the legitimate rights of the brotherly Palestinian people, the Representatives' Council held the first extraordinary session to discuss developments in the Gaza Strip. The meeting highlighted the Bahraini parliamentary solidarity with the brotherly Palestinian people and focused on the importance of providing support and assistance and calling on the international community to take immediate action to stop the escalation and the blatant violations in Gaza and the importance of protecting civilians and stopping the escalation taking place in the Palestinian territories urgently and avoiding the occurrence of more losses and provide the full protection of civilians. I would like to pass a message to the world today that what's happening in Palestine is something humanitarian. And any country and any government in the world that has humanity will stand by Palestine. A lot of martyrs are dying, a lot of women, a lot of children, and we are all in the Arab world standing side by side to support the Palestinian cause. And I hope that the world will announce Gaza as part of Palestine soon and I hope that the ceasefire and stop any bombardment in Palestine. The Palestinian cause is among the foreign policy priorities of the Kingdom of Bahrain to establish an independent state for Palestinians with Jerusalem as its capital within the Arab Peace Initiative. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed bin Salman Lim Salam, met with the President of the National Audit Office, NAO, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, who presented the 2022-2023 NAO Annual Report. 
Alam Salam praised NAO's efforts in performing its oversized duties with high efficiency and transparency. The speaker said the vision of His Majesty the King for the sustainability of resources and the optimal management of public funds for the benefit of the nation and citizens guides the work of the Council of Representatives in cooperation with the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Speaker commended the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on thoroughly addressing all the NAO's observations, implement measures to enhance oversight and accountability and consolidate integrity and professionalism across the government. Elam Salem affirmed that the Council will deliberately examine all the observations and recommendations included in the NAO's report to preserve public funds and support the government's national action. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, met with the president of the National Audit Office, NAO, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, who presented the 2022 to 2023 NAO annual report. Al Saleh praised NAO's efforts in performing its oversight duties with high efficiency and transparency. He said the vision of His Majesty the King for the sustainability of resources and the optimal management of public funds for the benefit of the nation and citizens guides the work of the Council of Representatives in cooperation with the government headed by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The chairman commended the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on thoroughly addressing all the NAO's observations, implement measures to enhance oversight and accountability and consolidate integrity and professionalism across the government. He affirmed that the Council will deliberately examine all the observations and recommendations included in the NAO's report to preserve public funds and support the development of national action. For his part, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa appreciated the sincere efforts made by the chairman and members of the Shura Council to modernize laws and enact legislation consistent with the plans of a renaissance and development, praising the close cooperation and coordination between the legislative and executive authorities. The Minister of Labor, Jamil Ahmedan, and Temkin CEO, Maha Mufiz, held a joint press conference to announce the details of launching a package of new programs. This comes in implementation of the royal directives of His Majesty the King to create more promising opportunities for citizens and following the approval of the cabinet headed by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and based on the directives of the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Charity Educational Trust, Chairman of the Board of Directors of Temkin, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to launch a package of new programs, the largest since the founding of Temkin, aiming to support 50,000 Bahrainis a year, which contributes to recruiting Bahrainis and enhancing their career development. During the press conference, Tim Keen said that the program aims at raising wages of Bahrainis, enhancing their recruitment, expanding their career development programs, and preparing them for the labor market. Minister Ahmedan stressed that the kingdom is continuing to promote various development paths to meet the aspirations of citizens and find ways to enhance recruitment opportunities in various economic sectors. He praised the royal directives of His Majesty the King to create more promising opportunities for citizens, pointing out that the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, is harnessing all its efforts to implement these directives that always consider the citizens a top priority. Benefit, the leading company in the financial technology sector and digital financial transaction services in Bahrain, in cooperation with the Supreme Council for Women and with the support of the Labour Fund, Temkin, announced that Innovate for Bahrain 14B Center has selected Riyadat Mall to operate the center, which will be managed by Bahrain Fintech Bay. The Supreme Council for Women in a strategic partnership with Benefit launched an integrated program to empower women in the financial technology sector Innovate for Bahrain 14B Center. The project will support the Council's strategic plans 
to achieve in partnership with the private sector the involvement of women in this promising sector. The center will provide specialized training programs for cadres working in the fintech to work in financial technology companies, in addition to providing spaces for joint work and short-term training programs through business accelerators to be an encouraging fintech environment for launching, testing, and implementing special ideas and projects. Innovate for Bahrain is a concept that we started in 2020 uh, with the aim to support local innovators in partnership with banks and financial institutions uh, running programs that accelerated startups uh, in, in Bahrain. We're happy today to announce uh, the lease uh, signing with uh, Riyadh Mall uh, and opening a full-fledged center that is designed and built for innovation in Bahrain called Innovate for Bahrain. This program will be a distinguished opportunity for innovation and a technical training center that supports the digital transformation in the kingdom. In addition, it will enable women to achieve their goals and participate effectively in the economic development process. A press conference was held on Brave International Combat Week 2023, which will be held in the Kingdom of Bahrain under the patronage of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Organized by Brave Combat Federation in cooperation with Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation in partnership with the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation from December 5th until 6th. On the occasion, the president of Brave Combat Federation, Mohammed Shahid, said that the kingdom will hold three versions of the Brave CF Professional Mixed Martial Arts Championships and the fourth edition of the Asian Mixed Martial Arts Championship. He added that the vision of His Highness Sheikh Khalid enhanced Bahrain's position on the international sports map, a map where it achieved many successes in the mixed martial arts sports. For his part, the president of the Bahrain and Asia Mixed Martial Arts Federation, Mohammed Qambar, said that Bahrain will be the first Gulf and Arab country to host the Asian Mixed Martial Arts Championship.